Hey everybody. So recently I got a laptop in for service. Um, it was a brand new Dell Inspiron 15 3000 series laptop that came pre-installed with Windows 11 Home in S mode. And in this video I'm going to show you how you can get out of S mode without the need for a Microsoft account. So this is being done on Windows 11 22H2 and it involves two different steps. You may have to only do one of these two steps, or you may have to do both of them. The first one involves doing a registry tweak, and the second involves turning off Secure Boot in your system firmware. So anyways, the video footage you're about to see is actually taken out of a different video I am also publishing. This will save you a little bit of time if you're wanting to actually get out of S mode. So anyways, here we go. Okay, so before I do any of that, let's just go through the process of showing you the supposed workaround. So what you would do is you would go into the start menu and go to restart, but first press and hold shift, click restart, and this will get you into your advanced startup options. Go to Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Command Prompt. And if the account has a sign-in, you will need to enter the password to get in. But we're in now, so we'll go ahead and run RegEdit. And it's already as administrator. So, we're now in the registry editor, but the thing is, we are actually in the registry of the recovery environment and not the actual installation of Windows. So if we go to File, well first we need to actually click on HK Local Machine. Now we go to Load Hive. And if we go to this PC, you will see that it's currently in Boot X, which is the recovery environment. So we need to go to Local Disk C, Windows, System 32, config, and we need to select system. And what's we'll called Windows or whatever. Alright, so. We expand, you see we have Windows. Now we'll go in, open Control Set 001. Open up Control CI Policy. So the thing is, the workaround that's out there on YouTube by several different channels, the most recent workaround is to set this SKU policy required D word value from 1 to 0 but you can see it's already set to 0. Okay so the next thing I'm going to try is to turn off secure boot on this thing. Now supposedly that would only work on 21H2 but I'm willing to just give it a try anyway just to see what happens. So what we're going to do is like before, go to restart, press and hold shift, click restart. Go to troubleshoot, advanced options, and we go to UEFI firmware settings and hit restart. And this will get us into the BIOSEP utility. Okay, so here we are in the UEFI BIOSEP utility. All right, let's see here. Enable secure boot. So let's turn that off. It's going to ask us, so we want to turn it off. We'll select yes. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and apply these changes. And 
we'll select OK. And we'll exit. And voila, we have turned off S mode, guys. <laughs> so that's how we do it. Dang, I'm glad I figured that out. So yeah, guys, um, apparently that was the trick. Um, it's weird because there's conflicting information out there. Some people are saying that uh, turning off Secure Boot does not work on Windows 11 22H2. Apparently it does. Uh, that was the case for me, at least. So that is, I guess, a way that you can deal with this. If you get a laptop in for service that has Secure Boot turned off, even if it is Windows 11 22H2, all you got to do, go into the SEP utility, turn off Secure Boot. So anyways, now I'm going to finish setting this thing up and install my typical software like OpenShell, Google Chrome, all that good stuff. You know, the stuff that would take, the, more or less the stuff that would help make it easier for a 70 plus year old man to use his computer. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, thanks for taking the time to watch this video from Cuckoo Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we can know if I new video post. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, and share this video as well as the channel with your friends and get the word out. Also, I have a second channel that's Cubecomp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather, cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for your support.